In the search for the best work schedule, finding ways to detox from social media, and finding that work and life balance, Gabe and I decided to end our work days at 3 p.m. We also tried to have a completely free day in the middle of the week, so on Wednesdays, like be completely out of office, and that didn't work. And I'm pretty sure that we can all relate to the fact that when you work online, it's pretty hard to go offline. We don't just set an out of office email. I mean, we can, but that wouldn't really even make us offline. I found that it's extremely hard to completely switch off. And if you felt this way too, comment switch off below. Now, our days do end at 3 p.m., but this is a little more of what our day looks like. I have shared that this year I started following the 12 week process, which I explain in detail in this video. So at the beginning of my 12 weeks, what I did was I wrote out my main goal and what I had to accomplish. With that, I put in my action items, which you'll see in the video, they call leading and lagging indicators. I put that in my calendar so I knew what I had to do day in and day out to accomplish the bigger goal. So that way in my calendar, I have my must haves because when you create content and run a business, you have to put in all these different things that you're doing from running client meetings, team meetings, to creating the content and actually posting it. There are the must haves, which are those things in my calendar that repeat week after week. So I make sure that I'm actually separating and blocking out the time for those. Now, the question I've been getting lately is how are you actually able to accomplish things when you're ending your day at three, right? Because normally we're used to working longer hours and trust me, I was working six, seven, but it's actually pretty interesting when you start to question things, right? Like, yeah, that's the normal thing, but let's question it. Let's try something else and see if it works. What I've noticed these days that we've been ending at 3 p.m. is that I'm far more productive. What normally happens, and it still happens, is that things come up. So your day fills up, right? So normally we're getting all these things done, but we know that it's usual if we're sitting down working till six, till seven, that we have those moments of, okay, let me sneak around in the kitchen. Like what snacky wacky am I gonna eat today? What's going on on TikTok, on Instagram? But now literally I've cut everything out where I'm sitting down and everything that's on the list, like I'm getting done boom, 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 because I know I have the same amount of tasks to do, yet I have until three to finish. And one thing that's super important to remember is that your day will look completely different from mine. Gabe's day looks completely different from mine. It's about grabbing your main goals, centering your days around it, those action items, your leading and your lagging indicators to get done. Remember, I have that video that explains it all. And that way you're actually working towards the bigger picture. So what about you? Have you tested any other work schedule and what has worked for you? Send me a DM on Instagram telling me that you came from this video and I'll give you a recommendation of one of my favorite free apps that I use to make sure I'm always staying on track with my time. And as always, I'll see you right back here on this same woo, roundabout exact channel next time. Bye bye guys. Bye. <laughs> We bout to make it happen